So, as promised, it's time for part two. Oops, I've dropped the game of uh, PES 2014, Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, whatever you want to call that shit. So, if I hit record, then you'll see that I'm going to be playing in my next match, Sussurniku, whatever the fuck. I don't know whether that is a real club. Or a made up one. That's the great thing with Pez. You don't fucking know. Um, so I'm going to kick off. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the first video is it's not very good at getting the right strips. Um, I was playing, I was playing something like Man City versus Chelsea and they both had their away kits for some reason which weren't the actual away kits in real life um, they're like made up ones and not even the same colour and uh, they were both white and blue stripes so uh, I could hardly actually see my goddamn team um, so that is definitely an issue on this game that I failed to pick up in the first video. But that's the beauty of doing a second video. All sorts of shit that didn't come up with the with, in the uh, first video can come up. So I think the best idea for me is to turn off the commentary because that will just scramble my fucking head. And I'm going to turn it down. Uh, main screen sound effects commentary and we're gonna listen solely to the diabolical crowd noises with our random chance of fucking AIDS infected misery I think actually I'm gonna turn up the game speed as well um, and see how this baby rolls at double speed uh, we're back into the game finally right so there's definitely a, a bit more speed now. It does kind of feel uh, very artificial though. And the game looks a lot less realistic in full motion. But we have scored a cracker there. An absolute cracker from Van Borad. I'm not Van Borad with this game yet. This game does have like licensed balls and boots. Um, oops. <laughs> I'm not really sure where the licensed boots come into it. Uh, I assume, I'm assuming that you can use them in the uh, create a player mode. I assume there's one. The last Pro Evo game I played at any depth was Pro Evo 2008. Uh, that game you could actually. Uh, map your own face into the game not sure you know if you can do that in this version but we're going to take down these green maggots and dirty faggots with some nice tasty goals i'm sure in this video and smack their fucking legs off with some nice slide challenges yeah meet it what do you mean free kick you fucking dickhead there we go as I said in the first video, the referees are very lenient. That was a clear sending off, <laughs> if ever there was one, but they're very lenient. I did actually um, save a replay <coughs> of a, a tackle in this game where when you played it back on the replay, there wasn't actually any real contact. Um, I think it was more of a. There we go. Oh, I think it was more of a frames of animation collision detection problem than the. Uh, if anyone remembers the Dave Besson factor that he used to have, that they called it in FIFA games, um, where they made like they made referees get decisions wrong and you know you'd have offsides wrong and then keepers would just have bloopers randomly um, it was kind of cool at the time but probably wouldn't really work nowadays in the uh, days of online gaming and all that you don't want to be uh, playing a competitive multiplayer match and uh, 
your keeper just have the ball slip through his hands and go straight through his legs, you would be pretty damn pissed off. I'd be on some sort of Konami forum going mental. And getting yourself banned as a result. Yeah, yeah I'm at a football match, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah, the uh, crowd noise does get really repetitive. Uh, that's an offside there. And he's not gonna make it to the ball anyway. It was kind of annoying um, when you used to play some FIFA games and it, I don't know what it's like now, I've not really played 14 in any sort, in, in, in any sort of depth, but if you played the ball and a player was in an off, offside position, it was just offside, but football doesn't work like that. If the player's in an offside position and is affecting the play or the ball is played to him, it's offside, um, but you don't just give offside because someone's in front of the opposition's line. You know, it's um, so that game. This game doesn't do that, um, which is nice. It's also not <coughs> not as obvious when referee is playing an advantage. Um, you know, there's not a little indicator that comes up like on the FIFA games where you get that little yellow indicator to say the referee's playing an advantage. You don't get on that on this game. You do get the referee playing advantage, but um, it doesn't interrupt the screen to tell you so. Ooh. Taking pop shots from outside the box. <coughs> The problem is that the crowd never really get going. Um, they just go. And sometimes I could do it for like the whole match constantly. And once you've heard it over and over again, it gets really annoying. Got a bit old. Oh, beauty. Oh, beauty. Mr. Rodriguez. He's my only signing that I've made so far in the uh, Master League. Like I say, this is supposed to be Chelsea. It might might as well be AIDS FC because it just makes up the uh, the players that you have. Well, it doesn't make them up, but it gives you a load of random players. Well, I assume they're not play, made up, but I've never actually heard of any of, any of them. They're all just like shit players from leagues that you're not interested in. Try some skilly willies. And fail. There we go, look. Look at that. Oh, he shoots, he scores. Oh, look, it's rude, all it. Oh, no, it's not. It's Castolis. <sighs> so, yeah, overall, um, I'm impressed with the game, uh, I'm impressed with the graphics um, and the core gameplay. Um, there are bits of the game that are shit, like I say the corners are fucking dire. Try and score a volley here or something and fail. Where's my accuracy man? Put one in the box, bitch. Head it in. Oh, and the rebound. Oh, yes. That'll be out you animal. There are some players who you would think would have their likenesses in the game but don't. Like that guy there looks like Edin Dzeko. But Edin Dzeko doesn't even have the right hair colour in the game. Never mind a face that resembles Edin Dzeko. So uh, he's obviously just got like a fucking catalogue head for a catalogue of preset designs. And you can tell that a lot of the the game is recycled from other Pro Evo games uh, with regards to character faces, uh, player faces even, you could call them characters I guess. Um, you know Wayne Rooney's got a shaved head in it and obviously three or four years ago now I would have thought it, it you know, it'd been since he had it done. He had hair implants, so why the fuck would he have a shaved head? You know, it doesn't make any sense, so uh, 
it's almost like the uh, the same. You know, a way a comparison I can imagine would be Gran Turismo 6. I mean, I've not played that game, but you know, it's supposed to reuse a lot of shit from Gran Turismo 5, and when you when that happens with a game you just don't feel like you're getting a fully polished product and that for me is the problem with this game essentially it's great but it is rough around the edges <clears throat> also as I've mentioned um, I've seen reviews of the game saying it you know it stutters all over the place but as you can see me playing it now, there's no issues because I've installed it on my hard disk. Um, so I, I just discount them reviews. Unless you've got a, a 12 gig PS3 and you, you know, you've just not got the space to install the game, then it, it will be an issue. Um, but if, you know, if you've got one of these, this is a, a 320 gig hard disk, you know, plenty of space, bang it on the disk and you'll, you know, you won't regret, regret it. So yes, that is the second video for Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, looking at the main game, not looking at any of that be a legend, I'm not interested in that shit, never been interested in the uh, the FIFA version, become a pro, whatever it's called, played it once for about 10 minutes and thought what a load of shit, um, I don't know what it's like now, so don't hang me for saying that, but um, yes, a uh, solid football game, but like I say, if, if you're big into your FIFA, you probably won't like this, but if you're coming into it as a neutral, and you can forgive the present, you know, the menus and not having the the correct players and kits. And it's a great game. Um, you can get option files, as they call them, to patch everything. Um, you know, done by fans. Um, and you know, I I've tried installing one and failed. Uh, just for some reason, it doesn't work. Um, but there will be on out there to work if you want all the right teams, kits, you know, it's out there, but you have to find it of your own accord. So yes, Pro Evo 2014, um, I recommend it. The graphics are a lot better than FIFA. The sound is worse. It, the sound on this game is not good. It's got satisfying tackle, uh, actual player sound effects and all them things, they're great. But the crowd commentary shit um, the, the music's cheesy but that doesn't really matter <coughs> and gameplay is solid a bit more calculated um, there are some issues with through balls and the actual way that corners are taken but other than that um, solid and I definitely recommend it if you can pick it up cheap which you should be able to now